Welcome back to Reliable Sources. If you live in a big city like New York, I think it's safe to say you've never heard of my next guest or his television channel. But he's in 40 million homes across the heartland. His name is Patrick Gotch, and his channel is RFD TV. The R stands for rural. And the channel features agricultural news and shows like National Tractor Pulling and Cowboy Church. Gotch has become one of the most unusual critics of the Comcast Time Warner cable merger. Remember, it would combine the number one and number two cable providers in this country. And it's been a big week for the merger, so I want you to hear why he says his channel would be hurt if the government lets the merger go through. First, two quick reminders. Time Warner Cable sounds a lot like CNN's parent company, Time Warner, but the two are separate companies. They actually broke up in 2009. And full disclosure here, my wife works for Time Warner Cable. I always want you to know where I'm coming from when I'm talking about the merger. So now, let me bring in Mr. Gotch. He's in Calgary this morning. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, sir. So this time last Sunday, you were on the front page of the New York Times. My friend Emily Steele wrote about your uh, concerns about the merger and said you stirred up a dust storm about it. So why is that? Well, what's, what's really stirred up the dust storm is, is uh, comments, public comments to the FCC over the last couple months. Uh, as you know, the uh, Comcast Time Warner uh, public comment period closed uh, just this past week on August 25th. And out of the 75,000 comments that were made, over 57,000 by our count uh, were uh, mentioned uh, their concern for rural programming, RFD TV and rural TV. So we, we've just been the megaphone for that. And, and those comments have, have uh, uh, got the attention of folks like the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal. So what are CNN, they saying? What are, uh, what are the concerns the about the merger? Well, the concerns are is, is Comcast isn't, hasn't been uh, hiding their uh, intentions uh, uh, with this mer merger, even prior to the merger being approved. Uh, they've dropped rural programming, RFD TV, in two entire states, Colorado and New Mexico, this past August. And when Mr. Uh, Cohen, when Comcast was questioned at the uh, May 8th hearing in Washington, D.C., his only answer for why they dropped RFD TV was that uh, Comcast is primarily an urban clustered cable company. And that really set off uh, a firestorm, not only in rural America, but with a lot of rural senators and congressmen. You mentioned Mr. Cohen. He's the chief lobbyist for Comcast. You know, he has suggested, and others have suggested, that you're just speaking out against the merger or, or raising concerns about the merger, and so that Comcast will take your channel more seriously and add it to more of its channel lineups across the country. Is that the case? Well, as an independent channel, uh, we always struggle with uh, getting the attention of the big cable companies. Uh, this merger has given us a chance to raise the awareness uh, of rural programming. And again, it's really the audience that's concerned and the action of Comcast that, that's, that's brought it about. This, this merger is a reminder that the industry is very consolidated, that a handful of companies like Comcast get to decide what channels get on cable and what channels do not get on cable. Uh, right now, you're in about 40 million homes. What would happen? Tell me the business implications here. What would happen if you were able to double that to, say, 80 million homes? Well, uh, Comcast and Time Warner, if that merger is approved, they'll control 23 of the top 25 markets uh, in this country. Uh, we're primarily an advertising-based channel, so if we were blocked or shut out of 23 of the top 25 markets, urban, even though they're urban markets in this country, our Nielsen ratings would suffer. We're not going to be able to reach our full potential. So uh, for Comcast to, to control post-merger 30 million homes and, and for RFD TV to be blocked out of those homes, that would be a significant disadvantage uh, for our channel. I know what you want to have happen here, but what do you think will happen? Uh, there has been an air of inevitability to this merger, and uh, Comcast and Time Warner Cable certainly expect it will go through. Yeah, and, and I expect it to go through, uh, too. Again, we're trying to do everything that we possibly can to raise the level of awareness. We feel that Comcast well, it has a responsibility. If they're going to control access to 30 million homes, they have to make sure that, that underserved, large underserved audiences are being addressed in this merger. And even by Comcast's uh, own figures, 14% of their customer base uh, post-merger uh, will be rural customers. We think the number is quite a bit larger than that, but even 14% of 30 million homes is almost 4.5 million homes. That's a significant audience and they want their, their rural channel, which is RFD TV. Hmm. Thank you so much for joining me today and sharing your point of view on this.
Thank you, sir.